Hi everyone, Linda here. I want to share with you the apothecary cabinet that I made for Steffi. I got this um, frame at a garage sale for a dollar. It was a really rough shape. So I'm just showing you here that I, I started with the frame. This is an apothecary cabinet made from a cigar box, but I started with the frame that I found because I thought it'd be really f a fun door for the cabinet. I'm getting carried away. I just wanted to make sure that you could still see it was started with a cardboard box. So that was, or a cigar box, and that was the one Carrie sent me. And I attached this uh, frame to it that um, I got at a garage sale, and I put a skeleton picture in it, and I'm going to add a lot more. I made a drawer, and I don't want to shut this yet because I just put this magnet in here and when I glued this paper on here when I went to open it today it had torn so that's okay with me I'm alright that it's torn so I added a little block so I could put a magnet there because there was a nail here but I kept cutting myself on it so I had to get rid of that then down here I've made another door and this is an old um, Kleenex box that I bought for a quarter. So I've made this door and it's got a magnet and it's got hinge, like hinges on it, but it's glued in there. I made it out of an old Scrabble box. And then this is the drawer that goes in there and there's the bottle that's going to go on it. So there's some things that I'm doing on my apothecary box for your paper pantry. Here with you my apothecary cabinet for Stephanie. Here it is. <laughs> and let me tell you about it. Okay, so that's an old frame and I showed you that old frame earlier when I was working on it. And then this is what I've done. There's a spider and a spider web and a foot and some skeletons and some pretty lace. I tore the paper and there's a little jar that says boo, and a foot, and a skunk. Every good skeleton's got to have a skunk. Then this is how you open this door. So we'll pull that open. Well, let me just see you. Then down here, it's a scary cat and a spider. And then you'd pull this open. It's on a magnet. It's kind of hard to do one here. And then on the top, I have this spooky... Uh, skeleton mug and then I have one of my captured witches now those two I don't have glued down yet so and I have those there and this big bottle of old crow embalming fluid well actually it's <laughs> not a liquid anymore <laughs> but it's um, rice and alcohol ink and they're weighing it down because the frame would be really heavy. Oh, and this pretty boo thing was a postcard that I got last year from uh, Marianne Kingsington. I'll put her name on the video. Isn't it cute? And then in the shelves we have... Okay, so we have some green thumbs. It said green grubs, but I crossed it out and wrote thumbs and I... I don't know if you can see it, but I made some little thumbs in there, and a little ghost, and a frog, and some eyeballs, and I made the eyeballs, and then just a couple more empty bottles there, and then it has part of a skeleton and a tag, then I have pickled mice, and I made some mice in there, bat wings, and I cut up some ribbon and knotted it and put it in there, but you really can't see it. And then that one says spider fangs. That one's filled with rice, but you can't see that either. And then this one says elixir. And then I have another bottle of eyeballs and the old crow. Now this is another door. So this is the cigar box right there. We were supposed to use the cigar box. Then this is... Um, an old Kleenex box oh, that I got for a quarter from St. Vinny's. I should take that off there. But that's what I use for the base. And then here is how you open it. 
there's a mouse trap, and Steffi has to dare open it with the mouse trap. But you can just pull on the charm too, Steffi, if you want, like that, and it opens. And then there's a drawer, but I'm not going to show you what's in the drawer. Steffi's got to look in there. It's pretty scary. It's kind of, it's kind of really a casket, kinda, like a casket. <laughs> Anyway, so there is my apothecary cabinet for Steffi at Little Red Wagon. Steffi, I had so much fun working on this. I worked on it for like a week, and every day I'd come down and think, ooh, I want to use that. Ooh, I want to use that. And I used lots of things from other people. Um, I know I used from something from Louise. I can't remember what it was. Oh, some of the pins. There's a pin here in there, and, and this is a pin from one of the pin swaps. This was a charm I made last year for another swap, and I made extra. Um, these are just some charms that I had. So, there you have it. I hope you like it. hope Steffi likes it, and that's the other side. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a spectacular day. Bye-bye.